are now head to a number of states. While the police in the state says it has arrested two suspects linked with Tuesday's attack on a convoy of U.S. consulate workers at Ogbaru local government area of Anambra State. The State Commissioner of Police, Echang Echang, met us known while briefing journalists at the State Police Command headquarters in Oka, the state capital. Addressing newsmen, CP Echang Echang says a joint patrol team comprising policemen, the military, and all the security operatives raided the camp of the suspect, which led to the arrest of two persons. 17th of May 2023, joint security forces comprising the police, the Nigerian Army, the Navy, and DSS raided a camp in Uguan Yocha community of Obaru local government, which was suspected to be the hideout of the assailants, but discovered on getting there that the camp had been totally deserted. However, two persons of interest were arrested and already assisting the police in investigation. The camp was totally raised down by the troop that entered in that place. Speaking further, he stressed that three U.S. consulate personnel and four mobile policemen were killed during the ambush. Investigation conducted by the command following the incident revealed that five male officials of the United States consulates and four PMF personnel escort from Lagos were on a mission to assess the impacts of erosion in Obaru local government and were traveling in a convoy of two vehicles, which, when they suddenly came under attack by armed men who targeted them with gunfire and set their vehicles ablaze. Regrettably, seven persons, including three of the consulate officials and four police mobile personnel, were killed during that attack, while two other officials of the consulate are still missing. In our related developments, the Anambra State Governor, Professor Charles Saludo, promised a reward for anyone with useful information leading to the arrest of other members of the gang. The governor in a statement to Vice Press Secretary Christian Haburime says the state government is committed towards protecting lives and property of all Anambrans. <laughs> 